All right, so we're looking at the intake from the carburetor there, and uh, the compression stroke for the exhaust is free. That valve there, it's free. But this one, as you can see, there's a lot more rust, and it's not free. Um, so I'm going to push, use my funnel and let some uh, evaporos sit in there. Um, if we look down, let's go down. I had this off too, and I can see the compression stroke coming up, but not the intake. So uh, it's coming up a little bit, but not enough to engage the rest of the valve to lift it. So I'm going to have to uh, try to take care of that rust. So water is not your friend when it comes to engines and having them outside. It doesn't matter what the engine is. And uh, so we'll let that sit overnight there and see how it goes. Um, and the belt cover took the belt cover off messing around with trying to get the lever to work so I've been messing around with uh, that lever that engages the tines and uh, I can get this to move it moves but then it un ungages the spring so something's not completely right but messing around with it so that's it for now well it's day two of the uh, tiller project here. I had uh, the uh, carburetor taken off and uh, plugged the hole with a cork and uh, had it tilted on its side, the tiller, to uh, with some of the evapor rust to try and free up the intake valve. And yeah, I wouldn't say it did a lot, but it definitely didn't hurt anything. Uh, so the intake valve here is still stuck if I spin the flywheel I'll spin the flywheel and show you see we go up but then we don't get any more so what I ended up doing now for day two here I had to pull the head off and as you can see it's not looking good. Pull the head off and yeah that's the uh, intake and there's the piston. So we're going to do some cleaning up here and let you know how it goes. I'm going to spray some WD-40 around here try to get the valve freed up. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. So there you can see I put the cork back in the uh, carb intake and soaking with WD-40. Cleaned up the inside of the engine here. All well, the piston. Still some debris there so I gotta be careful. And uh, still just gonna let that sit there. I might have to do some persuading, give them a tap on top. Yeah, so we'll see if some persuading will work. Well, that got him down. Taking some force, but she's going up. sit and keep at her. Well, not sure if you notice anything different here. Maybe not there, but look down here. And up here, intake valve is moving. 
as you can see I still got W40 in there um, it's been about an hour and uh, did a did uh, did a lot of tapping back and forth and moving and uh, tapping with the hammer there tapping it down um, and uh, ended up messing around here a little bit which I if you're gonna mess around with that you might uh, you're gonna want to wear safety glasses and uh, I wasn't messing around with a, a spring compressor there, a valve spring compressor. Just using a flathead screwdriver. And uh, kind of messed up the spring a little bit there. But but it's moving there. So just going to get that spring back seated properly or a little bit better. So, yeah, the only bad is the spring right now, but uh, I had to do it to get this to free up there. And uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of uh, some deep scoring there. So, pitting, scoring. So, well, uh, don't think that's from, uh, that's from over the years of running it. So get that spring seated properly and uh, go on from there.